of the things that I tell my patients, especially diabetics, is even though I'm seeing you every three or four months, sometimes that's just not enough. So I've created a Facebook page and I try to post information there every week so that the patients sort of have a go-to in between visits to stay in touch, check the information that we've posted there, and um, create a link to Your Health Matters. They do um, enjoy the site. I think it helps just keep them on track so they know what the numbers are and what they're, they're looking for as far as the benchmarks to meet. She always strives for me to know what my numbers are. Um, she, she, you know, talks about the D5. I exercise, I eat right, I do the things that I need to do knowing these numbers and always looking when they're taking my blood pressure I'm, I'm looking to see what my numbers are that I'm in that range knowing my number empowers me. Many of the younger patients are on Facebook and I found that some of the older patients that aren't will still go to the site because you don't have to be on Facebook to actually visit my site so any patient that has a computer can use that. They like it. They think it's you know just another way of reaching out and trying to keep that patient engaged. We have one other physician that has created a Facebook page, actually two, um, and I think their patients are enjoying it. I actually refer my patients not only to mine but to the other physicians in the practice. A couple years ago when I would start to talk about the D5 with my patients, they had no idea what I was talking about. And now when I walk into the room, it's sort of the exciting thing at the end of the visit. The patient, you know, when we say you're at five out of five of the D5, the patients are really excited about that. And I just think patient engagement is key to improving the outcomes.